Hello everyone, it's Veronica and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a book haul and it's relatively small. I only got 13 books today, well, yesterday, and I'm really excited. I haven't done a haul since my very first video, but uh, that one... Uh, that one were book that, that those were books that I already got technically, but these books I got yesterday, and I'm really excited to share it with you. So let's get started. These books I were on my wish list, but weren't my priority. I was meant to get three specific books to finish, uh, three series. I ended up not doing that. I ended up buying everything else on my wish list. I have like 50 books on my wish list and I only got 10, but at least I got like the 10 that I wanted to get, you know? So I'm going to start with this stack. I have three stacks right here beside me. The first book I got was Red, White, and Royal Blue. It is a male male romance and I'm really excited for this. I've been reading a few male male romances and they have been really good so far. I've heard really good things about Red, White, and Royal Blue, so I'm very excited to read this, and I like the way it's like, I don't know what you call this, like a fake flap. I wish they had something there though, but such a gorgeous co cover. I This is like the first pink book I own, so really, I'm excited for this. The next book I got was Love Boat Taipei by Abigail Hing Wen. I'm really excited for this because I don't really us usually read Asian books and I'm going to start now just because I think I need to read more diversity. I read a lot of US related or just everything else related except for Asian. So I want to start reading Asian because I think it would be good for me and my culture and just I think it'd be important for me to read something that's not American related or European related. So I got this. The third book I got was Of Curses and Kisses by Sandhya Menon. It's like an enemies to lovers and I think it's like a Beauty and the Beast kind of thing. I'm not entirely sure, but it's pretty exciting. I saw this online and loved the cover. All of these books I wanted to get for a while. I saw this book and it was like since I saw it, I might as well get it because I feel like I would not have the opportunity to get it other times and I mean I'm definitely gonna have book hauls in the future but I thought what a great opportunity I might as well get it now and I got it now so the fourth book I got was The Queen's Assassin by Melissa de la Cruz and I'm very excited for this it's got I think it's like an enemies to lovers I don't entirely know but I also know that it might not deal with romance entirely I'm excited to read this because, you know, assassins, that kind of thing, I just, it really brings me back to the days where I read uh, the Throne of Glass series. I have a, I just, I love assassins kind of books. I'm a huge fan. So I saw this online on Goodreads and a lot of people were talking about this and I was like, you know what, I think I'm going to get it. So I got it and I really i'm really excited to read this i've heard pretty good things about melissa de la cruz and also i just wanted to finally pick up one of her books because i wanted to get her alex and eliza series which i saw in the bookstore as well but i didn't get but i'm excited to read this the fifth book i got was ninth house by lee bardugo i'm so excited to read this i finally got ninth house I was gonna get the hard copy, hardback of this, but I think the paperback was cheaper and I love the design. I think it's so gorgeous and I'm really excited to read this just because I don't really deal in thriller or in horror, so I'm going to try reading this, see how I like it, and I'm excited to read this. I've heard good reviews and bad reviews, so I hope I like it, but I guess we'll see where I'm at. I got two historical fictions that I think are moderately well known so far. Uh, the first one I got was The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris and I love historical fiction. I think I say that so often on this channel so far but I love, love historical fiction and this is dealing with the just 
Holocaust and everything, and I think it's important to really educate yourself about this, even though this is historical fiction and not non-fiction. It's based on a true story, uh, as well as the second book I got. And I just think it's, I want to educate myself more just because I don't read enough of this. I read a lot of historicals, but that does not mean, that doesn't mean I read something like this. So I've been ready to read this. So far I've heard good things about the Tattooist of Auschwitz. I don't really know. I was excited to read this. Also, it's got that fake flap. I don't like the fake hardcover flap and I think it's really cool. It like very cool. But besides the cover being cool, I'm really excited to read this because I just want to read more historical fictions. I've been on a fantasy romance grind, so I'm ready to pick back historical fiction. The second historical fiction I got was The Librarian of Auschwitz by Antonio Iturbe. I don't know how to say that name and I, do I definitely know I'm saying it wrong. And this was actually translated from a name I also don't want to pronounce because I definitely know I'm going to get that wrong. But I've heard Haley in Bookland talk about this book and I don't know if she liked it or not. I don't actually remember. But this is where I originally got my interest, my recommendation I guess you can say. This is also dealing with the Holocaust so I was interested to see what what I would gain from reading The Librarian of Auschwitz and The Tattooist of Auschwitz. So I'm excited to read these two historical fictions and kind of just seeing where what I can learn from it because they're based on true stories that actually happened, of course, and I want to know what I can learn from it and maybe and if I liked it in the future I might get more books to really help myself be more educated in this topic. The next two books I got were from a author to content related channel and it is Alexa Dawn. I got Brightly Burning and The Stars We Steal. I'm really excited. It deals with like a fantasy romance, I think sci-fi romance for both. This one deals with like pirates and ships. I don't know if specifically pirates, but you know what? It seems like pirates to me. And this one deals with, it deals with like spaceship space in general stuff. So definitely think both of these are, this is more sp sci-fi related and I don't really know what categorizes the stars we still but I've heard great things about these two books so I want to check it out and I'm ready to read this so I'm very excited. The next book I got was this gigantic 800 page copy of The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon and I love this cover. I think the dragon, I Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but the blue on the dragon, it like shines. I don't know if you can see that. If you can, like it's so gorgeous, but this is a very thick book. I can turn that off now. This is a very thick book. I'm excited. I've heard lots of YouTubers talk about this book and how it was good. And I was like, I really want to get this. This deals with, like, I think different myths and legends, and I took a class, class, I took a class called Myths and Monsters, and I loved it a lot. This deals with myths, mon maybe not monsters, I don't know, but I'm excited to read this. It got a little dirty, but I don't mind. I'm excited to read The Priory of the Orange Tree. I want to know how I feel about this book. I've heard such good things about it. I on booktube especially. I have not heard anything bad about it so far. So ready. I'm ready. The last few books I got were part of a series and actually funny story. I bumped into my friend yesterday in the bookstore and she's the one that actually told me about this series and it is the Summoner series by Taran Matharu and it's falling all over the place but it is a trilogy and I'm excited to read this because I love oh my goodness I love the fact that it deals with demons and all these different creatures and 
I think it's going to be really interesting. I think it's a YA middle grade kind of mix. I think it's like in between. So I love it. It's fantasy, obviously, and it's got a demonology inside, which is pretty cool. I didn't think anybody did that. I don't know any other book that does that, but I'm really excited to read this. I She told me it was really good, and so I'm obviously here to check it out. And the first book is The Novice. The second book is The Inquisition, and the third book is The Battle Maker. Hey guys, so I didn't realize my camera had actually cut out when I was talking about the titles and wrapping this book haul up. So I was talking to you guys about the Summoner series, which I have beside me, and I was going through the titles. So I'm going to finish that right now. Book one is the novice book two is the inquisition and book three which cut out was the death mage and i'm really excited to read these series i love middle grade and ya mixed fantasy so i thought and thank you by the way friend who introduced me to the series i'm ready to read this i don't know what it's about so i'm ready to dive right in and i will send you guys to pass me to wrap up this video i'm so sorry i didn't even realize my camera cut out so all right guys this is it for my book haul i'm so excited to be reading all of these books i really this is going to be part of, part of a larger book haul this is like a fifth of my actual books that i wanted to get so definitely expect more hauls from me and i'm so excited to actually read all of these books i'm ready yes <laughs> i feel like really good about all of these books i don't know if this will be my tbr for june just yet i think i'll decide when i what i want to do for my june my july my did i say june before I don't know time, but my July TBR, so I'm ready to read. Hopefully, I'll get more books before in next month. I don't know, but obviously, I want to finish these guys first. I'm really excited, and I thank you guys so much for watching this book haul. I want to know if you guys read any of these books, or if you want to read any of these books if you're interested. So comment down below what you guys thought about this haul. Give this video a thumbs up hit that red subscribe button and I hope you hope you guys come back for more book content related stuff. I don't know what that sentence was, but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.